After one week in Vienna, I can tell you that this is, in the global scale, a bicycle-friendly city. There are many people riding, almost 7% here. Um, compared to many cities in the world, it, you're ahead. But this is a city that worships the automobile. This city, this beautiful classical city, has been gang raped by 100 years of traffic engineering. Everything in this city is still revolving around the automobile and traffic engineering dominates the thought behind traffic planning here. So in that sense, this is a very old-fashioned city in the modern context. This is not a modern city. You have cities now who went from 0% on bicycle to 7% in only five years. Seville in, in Spain, Barcelona, Dublin. These cities are the ones that are re actually doing things in a very short time. So you have one of the, a beautiful European capital, but you know what? There's a lot of beautiful European, European capitals. So the, the bicycle infrastructure network here is confusing. It's not intuitive. I don't know where to go. I spend half my time waiting at red lights on my bicycle. More time maybe at red lights than actually riding my bicycle. So things are happening here. People are riding. The citizens here are, are accepting the bicycle as a, as a respected form of transport. But the city is not responding to the needs of the citizens. It's still an auto-centric city. I heard that your government is planning to spend 10 million euros on green paint. I was absolutely shocked to hear this. In Copenhagen, we know that one kilometer of separated infrastructure for bicycles, 2.5 meters wide, one way, on each side of the street, this costs one million euros per kilometer. You have 10 million euros for paint, and you're not building infrastructure. You could have 10 kilometers in the heart of the city, on the Ringstrasse, separated, proper infrastructure based on best practice, Danish and Dutch standards, and you're spending it on paint. Lots of positive things in Vienna, this is not one of them. When a city wastes money, taxpayer money, on trying to reinvent bicycle infrastructure, when we have, half, when we have had bicycle infrastructure that works for 100 years in the Netherlands and in Denmark, it's, it's a waste of taxpayer money. So, in, you know, it's the, you know, look on the internet. In three clicks, you will find out how to create a proper bicycle infrastructure network. And you, you know, it's control C, control V. You copy paste and you have results. Did you see any progress from last year? No. <laughs> Excuse me. So I was here last year. I'm here now. Uh, it's the same. There's no difference. I'm sorry, I don't see. There was green paint. You know, no, there's no difference. One, I noticed different things because I'm looking in more detail now. You know that you don't have very wide cycle lanes if you can't even have room for the two pictograms, uh, the bicycle pictograms on the asphalt. There's no room for them by side by side. You have to put them, you have to put them like this. So you know if you don't even have room for your pictograms on your infrastructure, you don't have very wide infrastructure. So um, this is I, I noticed sort of more details this time, but nothing has changed except for smelly green paint.